gold medal. How does it feel? It feels awesome. I'm so proud about it, really. How was preparation for the Austrian Open? Is that, I mean, you play all over Europe, but how is Austria, how is the Austrian Open for you? Is that very special? It is always a pleasure to be here and to play here. And of course, it's one of the best uh, tournaments all over the world. But do you feel more pressure playing in front of your home crowd? Uh, not really, not really. So you're tough, you play your stuff and you get the gold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you think made the difference at the end of the day? I mean, it was four points. So what was the thing that made the big difference? I think me and my partner played a very great, great doubles. Uh, maybe a bit over performance, but uh, we made it and the team performed very good in general. So I like that. So congratulations again. Well done. Thank you very much. Same question to you. What do you think made the difference today? I don't know. We, we, we thought long about how, we, how to, um, uh, who plays who. Uh, and I think we nailed it with a different profile matchup. Uh, it was, it's a very good team, so we had to, to do the team set up perfect. Uh, and yeah, I just think we, we did a great job there. Is Denmark the strongest team in the world? <sighs> I think there's a lot of good, good teams. Uh, Austria is, is, has a good team, German, Germany has a good team, and uh, also the Polish guys. But I think Denmark is I th it's very close, but maybe we're the best right now. But obviously, yeah, you won the Champions League, so well done, congratulations. Yeah. How proud are you? I'm extremely proud. Uh, obviously, I was uh, playing the decisive uh, game uh, in the end, and uh, that made a difference. Uh, so I'm very proud. So waking up this morning, were you a little bit expecting to have this play tonight? Uh, no, uh, I was not sure that I was going to play. We have a lot of good players uh, on the team. And uh, uh, frankly, before the match, we gave ourselves uh, around 20% chance of winning the match. We, we, we felt that uh, Austria had a slightly better team than, than we does, do. And if you go down to, to the different competitions, where do you think uh, those four points were won? Was it badminton? Was it table tennis? Maybe squash? Actually, I think we have to say that the, our doubles team uh, made a terrific match. I think they won the, their, their game uh, against the, the Austrian doubles uh, with around uh, 20 points, and that was a, a major surprise to us that that was possible. Um, so, so how are you going to celebrate tonight? Well, uh, some of us have uh, important games uh, tomorrow. Uh, so uh, for me, it's uh, not going to be a long celebration. Uh, I have some uh, tough matches tomorrow as well. So all the best of luck and congratulations Thank again. Thank you very much. You received silver today, but it's almost as shiny as gold. How close was it today in the Champions League final? Yeah, it was extremely close. We had all the matches together and it uh, made like four points and yeah, we were extremely close. So it, uh, it was nice, but it hurts. <laughs> and it seems very obvious that everybody's really into this Champions League, maybe even more than into uh, the singles competition. Why is that so? Uh, it's always nice to play for a team because uh, we always play individuals and now we have a chance to play for a team and it uh, yeah, makes a difference, makes more enthusiasm. I know you're hurt, but you're still smiling. Uh, uh, was it uh, something uh, different to lose in Austria to this Danish team than to losing to Denmark uh, somewhere else in the world? No, that doesn't make a thing. I'm always smiling, yeah, even though I'm, <laughs> even when I'm very depressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now it's time to, to have a schnitzel party, to go out to the players' party. Is that something you're going to be doing together with uh, the Danish team? If it's really necessary, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So have a good time, enjoy Thanks. your night. Bye -bye. <laughs> Michi, if you put a resume on today, on Saturday of the Austrian Open, what would it be like? Um, honestly, I'm sad. Um, it's always tough to lose by uh, only by a few points. Um, we did our best, but yeah, it was I think the doubles um, that decided in the end. Um, it was a little bit risky because Chris and me didn't play for a long time. Um, we hoped to perform well, but in the end, yeah, a little bit lucky and yeah, we lost. Well, everybody said you played a great game, but the Danish, you know, they were playing like over the top. Did they maybe prepare better than you guys? Did you feel more pressure because you were playing in front of your home crowd? Oh, it's always nice to play in front of the home crowd. Um, I think they played extremely well. Um, as I said before, it was tough because we didn't play for a long time together. 
we're not used to it anymore. So yeah, we go now for the Europeans and hopefully do better. So what are the next big planes? We were talking about the Europeans. I mean, you have to always go for gold, right? We have to, yeah. So we, we want to have the gold medal and we do everything for it. And I think we have, will have a strong team and we'll be ready for the Danish players. Just one more thing about the Champions League. Uh, I, I talked to the Danish winners before and it seems like everybody's really into this competition, maybe even more into the solo competition. What do you think is the reason for that? Um, it's always nice to play in a team. Um, I think most of them like it because of the atmosphere and playing in front of the home crowd is amazing. And unfortunately, it's just a few points decided, but we come back and maybe next year we will win. We'll, we, we will win it. So we wish you the best of luck. Silver still tremendous. Congratulations. Thanks. Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President, it's, it's time for an interview. It's time for an interview. Austrian Open 2015. It's been a tremendous day. Denmark taking gold in the Champions League. If you put a resume on today, what would it sound like? Well, the mistake was that Denmark took the gold, you know. <laughs> we are very patriots here in Vienna and we had the unbelievable chance to win the Champions League and to beat Denmark for once. And unfortunately, a Belgian guy missed it up. <laughs> well, it was very close. It was four points at the end that made the difference. And Denmark, especially in the doubles, they played like over the top. Yeah, it seems... Uh, Austria is too fair, maybe. Austria is too fair and uh, maybe they have the better doping. I don't know. <laughs> so, Marcel, you always have big plans. Uh, this competition was amazing today. What are the next plans? Well, definitely we would like to host again the Champions League next year because it's always great to, to have it in Austria and it's such a super competition with eight teams coming from everywhere. But the next big plan is actually we want to apply for the Euro Europe uh, World Champ no, European Championships, singles, doubles and teams, everything in 2017 and which could be the greatest racketlon event ever spread over one whole week. Well, wow, sounds like an inspiring goal. What about for tomorrow? Today is Saturday. Sunday is still a big day for everyone. I mean, you're only preparing the courts. Well, is to be expected? Well, for tomorrow, I don't know what's going to happen because I'm going now to the players' party in U4 in the disco steak. And I hope then somebody will be here instead of me tomorrow morning. So maybe we can go to the schnitzel party together and then I'll join you at the Ophir and we'll call it a day for tonight. That's definitely a good plan. So see you guys. Um, yeah, we're off to the party. See you tomorrow. Yeah.